Hey guys, this is a review, like, this is a first impression review on the Garnier BB Cream. Um, I've seen so many review, well not reviews, but like so many people on YouTube rave, of, rave about it. So I saw so many girls on YouTube rave about this, and I really wanted to do a first impressions video on it, and this is what the tube looks like. And it is light medium, and I guess that's new. I guess it was just um, like fair and light and then medium deep. So I guess this is the new in-between shade. Um, so far, so good, obviously. Um, and yeah, I'll keep you updated throughout the day. And it is the 4th of July, so I will be outside. Obviously, I have my festive um, clothes on. And yeah, so I will keep you updated throughout the day, and this is what it looks like so far, and it has pretty good coverage. So it looks like this, and take it out of the package, and it looks like this, and I've never used this before, so I'm going to put it on a brush. I'm sure you could probably use it like anything else, I'm sure you could use it with um, a beauty blender or being a BB cream you could probably use it with your fingers um, I would imagine so when I open it it looks like this it's kind of I don't know it's not really like a thick texture it's more it's not like really runny either it's kind of I don't know I guess it's a little bit of a foundation-y texture so I put this much on the brush and then I'm just going to the excess wipe that on my face because it seems like a good idea. So I'm just going to dot it, I guess. And then I'm just going to buff it in. And obviously bring it down my neck. So far, it seems to be blending pretty well. Oh, and I already did pre-moisturize. Pre I'm really excited to try this because, one, there's it's so hot lately. And um, if you can find a good product that will stay on your face... Um, highly recommend you going out and buying that because where I live it's like supposed to be 111 or 106 or something like that some outrageous um it's an outrageous number so I put a little bit more and I'm just going to work that in as well So, so far, like I said, it's blending in pretty well for a BB cream. Um, the reason that I actually purchased it is because I saw that it had pretty good coverage. And I'm really um, looking for a good coverage BB cream. I was using my L'Oreal, and I really like it, but it just... I don't want to wear a foundation every day, and I really want something with good... Um, coverage and the L'Oreal had like okay coverage but it just wasn't I don't know I still found myself putting like foundation on top of it I guess so that is um, like it's pretty much one coat I don't think I put enough on there to begin with I just always start out with a little bit so it blends pretty good. Um, this is like the up-close version. Um, it blends pretty good. I'm just going to put on some concealer and do the rest of my makeup. And um, we will see how it holds out through the whole day. But so far, so good. Um, it, like I said, it blends out really good. And it covers up like uh, most of my redness. I have a lot of redness in my cheeks. Um, and it seems to cover that up pretty well. And I have, like, these, um, I used to have acne when I was little, like, when I was younger. And I have little bumps from that. 
and it seems to have covered that up pretty well. Um, I need to buff it in a little bit more right here. But it seems to cover it all pretty well. We don't want to mask. And then for the... Um, I'm gonna, my next impressions video is on this L'Oreal True Match in N4. And I hope it's not too dark. But we will see. So... I didn't know if I wanted to set this with a powder, but I think since um, it's really hot outside, I'm just going to set it with some um, Rimmel Stay Matte. So I'm going to do the rest of my makeup, and I'll be right back. So this is the finished look. Um, I set it with the Rimmel Translucent Powder. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do that, but pretty much this is exactly what it looked like when it went on because... Um, it's translucent, so it didn't add any extra coverage, and I just bronzed up a little, put some blush on, and did my eyes, and yeah, so we will see how this works throughout the day. I did forget to show you the time when I put it on. Right now, it is 11.40, and um, when I looked at the clock, when I realized, oh my gosh, it was 11, so we'll just say that it was 11 o'clock when... Hey guys, so this is my update. It is one something, 109, if you can see that. And it's doing pretty well. It is 101 degrees outside. Um, and yeah, it's doing pretty good. Obviously, um, I'm sweating because it's hot, but we went to, we actually did go out in the heat. We went to Rayleigh's. We went to go get something to eat, and, um, I'll quit spinning, but, um, yeah, we did some errands and stuff, and it's been holding up pretty well. Um, as you can see, like, some of the lines, obviously, we get, like, up close. You can see some of the lines that it's, like, kind of went into, but not as bad as, like, a foundation or something, so... It's still doing pretty good, holding up, um, and I haven't had to, I'm still, I'm a little tiny bit shiny from the heat, but nothing too bad. I don't normally, like, touch up, so I haven't done that, and yeah, so it's doing pretty good, and I will check back with you in a few minutes, or in a few hours, but for you, it'll be right now. So it is now 3.01 and it's been a total of four hours since I um, put on the BB cream and it's doing pretty good. It is 102 degrees outside and I've actually been doing some inside like workout craziness and it's doing pretty good. It's not melting off my face. It's not... Um, really sinking into the lines as much as it was. It's still pretty good coverage and everything like that. So, yeah, so far so good. Um, obviously, I'll do my end thoughts at the end of the video. If you can see, my eyes are like watering really bad. I have really bad allergies and they are absolutely on fire today. Um, I don't know why, but they are. But anyways, um, what was I saying? Oh, the foundation. It's not, it's not heavy like a foundation. It's pretty light. Um, I would kind of compare it to like almost a MAC foundation, like coverage-wise. You can definitely build it up to that. Um, I just put one layer on today, and it's pretty, it covers up all my spots and stuff. I don't really have any redness showing through. I haven't touched up at all. Um, so yeah, this is it. And it's hanging in there in the heat. So I will see you. For me, it'll be a couple hours. But for you, it'll be a couple seconds. So... Eight fifty, so it's pretty much nine o'clock. 
and I've pretty much had this stuff on for 10 hours and I actually fell asleep that's why you guys didn't get a bunch of other updates and all I did after waking up was put some stuff under my eyes because it looked really bleh. and I um, did like I read freshened up my eyeshadow makeup because I didn't want to film looking like I had just woken up but I sprayed hairspray so but for the majority of this BB cream I'm gonna give it like four and a half stars um, it out of five it does really good um, and I don't know I just really 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 like it I like that it didn't um, like it doesn't in the camera you kinda see like a reddish like tent or whatever but in the mirror you don't at all um, so I don't know what that so I did touch up one time and I used and I'm gonna show you exactly what I used it was this translucent powder and it's by Rimmel it's the stay matte translucent powder and I'm just going to because I feel like I'm a little like oily or shiny looking so I'm just gonna take this elf brush and I'm going to just touch up those spots so you can see the difference now of down here is nice and matte and then up here is more um, not like oily but just has like a shine which happens when you sleep so yes we fell asleep for um, I don't know quite a while it's very hot here and um, yeah but before that I did some like crazy I'll insert the pictures it's freaking hilarious but um I'm doing a 30 day um it's a 30 day crunch a squat crunch and plank um exercise so um so yeah um and comparing it this is the only other BB cream that I have it's this L'Oreal um, BB cream in light and comparing it, I would say that this one wins, like, by far this one compared to this one. Um, I would give, like, a two and a half star um, rating, and this is definitely five. So, so that is it, and you can totally wear this BB cream all day as a foundation, and you don't have to feel like your face is melting off. Um, and like I said, I was in 102 degree heat today. It's still so hot, but um, it did very well under pressure. So, yeah, those are my thoughts. That was my first first impressions video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it so much, and happy holidays, and um, it's the 4th of July today, so I don't know if I'll get it up. I don't know if I'll get this video up today on the 4th of July. Probably not. Um, so, yeah, and then the next video I'm doing is a... First impressions on this one, the L'Oreal True Match, and it is an N4, and I think it's a little bit dark, so hopefully, hopefully not, but we'll see. So yeah, so this BB cream did amazing, and I'm going to quit rambling now, and you guys have a wonderful day, and remember to stay positive, and smile, and try and uplift others, even when you don't feel so uplifted and um, even when you don't feel like you have the best support system in the world um, there's always someone out there who needs just a simple smile will help them out so my chest is turning red from talking so much um, so yeah I hope you guys have a wonderful day and smile and above all stay beautiful Mwah. Mwah. bye